Hello viewers, we'll be going over silver futures. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, comparing the current trend with the trend in the past, and we'll go over the day-by-day -day forecast for silver futures. So back to the technical analysis. On Friday, we closed above 88 basis points on the 1-hour chart. We approached to near overbought RSI. We have now reached to positive MACD. And as for the 4-hour chart, what we have here is we're still approaching to negative MACD. However, we see a reversal on the 4-hour MACD. We're starting to see a converge and also start to see after diverging the 9 moving average diverge onto the 18 moving average, the blue and purple line respectively, we may see a reversal in play. As for the daily chart, what we have here is we are at overbought RSI on daily chart. We bounce right off the 9 moving average, this blue line, so we may continue to head on higher as long as we make higher lows. If we do manage to reverse and head down lower and lose the 9 day moving average as our support, the next possible price level support will be around the 18 day moving average, which is around the price of say $19 or $18.99. And we see this range as a previous resistance level. And since we're above resistance, that now act as our support. And now as for the day by day probability model, these models are available in the link below. So do check it out. So as we progress to the 5th day of or, or a week of trading, we have a 100% chance for silver futures to fall between 0 to negative 2.2%. However, this is a small sample size, so do keep that in mind. Let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for silver futures. So what we have here is one day out, that will be a Monday, and two days out will be a Tuesday, and so on. So we have three days out, four days out, five days out. Which which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is best matched to the current trend, the blue lines are current trend, and the line overlapping it happens to be the best match. So right here we have our current trend, and below is the trend that we found above the, or the line graph that we found above. And this trend dates back to June 13 to July 26, 2019. So let's begin comparing both the trends. So on the current trend, we start off at the bottom Bollinger Band, and then we, what we have is one, two, three, four, five points. And on the trend in question, we also have one, two, three, four, five points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are somewhat the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was again back in June 13 to July 26, 2019. Silver was down roughly around, say, 80 base points, so slightly to the downside. If we examine the day-by-day -day probability model, that coincides with this standard deviation, 100% chance of dipping lower between 0 to negative 2.2%. Let's examine closer on the technical performance of each trend. On the current trend, we're down 90 base points from monthly high, up 10% from monthly low, up 2.3% from 10 simple moving average, and up 5% from 20-day simple moving average. There's no 50-day simple moving average because we're only examining a 30-day trend. Compare that to the trend that we just found back in June 13 to July 26, 2019. Back then it was down 1.4% from monthly high, up 9% from monthly low, up 1.2% from 10 simple moving average, and up 4.4% from 20-day simple moving average. So among the two trends, there are technical similarities among the two trends. And again, these models are available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.